Another streaming service option is on the horizon. This time, the focus is on sports lovers. Our Jessica Tara spoke with a media expert to see what's different about this one. From Netflix to Hulu to Max, the number of streaming services are growing. Recently, Disney, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery announced a streaming service collaboration. Featuring Disney owns ESPN games like major professional leagues and college conferences. The goal is to draw the eyes of sports fans turning away from cable. But some Vermonters aren't ready to press the off button just yet. I purchase enough with cable and the two services that we do stream so I don't think I'd go any further. <laughs> On the other hand there are people that are looking for ways to watch more sports content. We're honestly looking for a sports subscription currently so we're not sure where to go towards. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm an Eagles fan so it's really hard to find a place to watch the games and stuff up here like back home I just go to somebody's house across the street we're like I'm gonna watch the game. Can't do that. St. Michael's College Assistant Professor of Digital Media and Communication Sebastian Gorison says there are a variety of features on this new app. This flagship ESPN streaming service is supposed to have the full suite of ESPN channels, as well as much more personalization, customization, and features like shopping and most importantly, I think, integrated betting fantasy. Gorison predicts this could be good for sports lovers. And I think that a streaming bundle like this, offering such a wide range of sporting events uh, direct to consumers in a single package, may well be really enticing for those families. There are some people that are getting tired of multiple streaming services, but Gorison says it's the nature of the streaming wars and it's not going away anytime soon. I believe that in many ways this is a defensive move. In the contemporary streaming landscape, companies like Netflix and Amazon and Apple are all showing increasing interest in sporting properties. And he says cable might slowly fade away. So this may well will be just a first step in a new phase of how we as Americans watch our sports because this streaming wars has led to an ever-expanding offering of new subscription services. There is no price or name for this new streaming service yet, but it is set to launch in the fall. Reporting in South Burlington, Jessica Tara, Channel 3 News.